Uh, this is a video update on the new paint. Uh, like here's the old paint. It's not super shiny. Uh, try to find some spots. It's like the old paint more like here. Uh, here's like the old paint. It's kind of dull. Well, I got just a brand new Scotch Bright pen and like here I just painted it. It's like shinier. I think it's yeah, right there. And some, and it's a little shiny. I'm gonna take this over it a few times. Scrub lightly a little bit. And right in there. And now, voila, I dulled it up a little. Looks like the rest of the wall. And uh, yeah, how's this hair? I think the touch. How's Texturing Santa Fe Mediterranean. Uh, it's kind of hard to match. I would I would recommend using a drywall drywall uh, tool. It's got the wide blade to do it. It's flexible more. Can get it thinner or easier. The putty knife it kind of wants to come out thick on there. I like this. They kind of paint it outside of there. Of this here a little. Uh, light pressure kind of takes the shine off a little makes it blend in a little more and then like right here textured and painted it's uh it's kind of shiny as from the over it is dole it right back up so if you want to kind of blend it, you could use a scotch brake pad like this. Just a brand new one that's clean, not been used at all or wet. And just want it dry. Don't wet it or use it at all. Just use it as like a, almost like a sand pad pretty much. Like here, it's real shiny. Yeah. Some of these patches. This is a little too much to rough. I might have to patch more or sand it down. I'll steal a little for the demonstration of the uh like here I did a good job. This was just a bare spot. I did a good job of texturing it. It's like blend right in, but some of these spots are a little high. I should have not textured as much. I think I'm gonna buy the drywall mud knife instead of using a putty knife because it's that's too hard to get thin, the texturing. If you paint like the whole surface of the door or something, don't worry about it as much, unless you really want to go over it. And uh, I'll try to find another spot and demonstrate again here. Uh, here's a little patch in the, one of the rooms. It's kind of the texture's close, but it's a little shiny. Let's go over it with this. Like it was a sand pad, but really light, just to kind of take the shine out of it a little. And now it's uh, don't look as shiny now. I would just recommend going over it light a little bit, like here. Super shiny from the new paint. Let's go over it a little bit. Maybe try to get in the nicks and crannies some. And, uh, I have to use your fingertips and just kind of go over it some, um, but pretty light, and then around it on the high spot, and kind of get in the nicks and crannies a little bit, and where it's shiny from the new paint, and now it blends in a lot more. But old trick for a can. Taking the shine out of the new paint, it's a little too glossy. Of course, over time it'll it'll match more with the uh, old paint, but this helps. It's taking like a, it's not even getting the pad real dirty. It's just taking a taking a little bit of the shine off. That's all. And like here, got a lot of patch or somewhat of a patch job and. Uh, Texturing and the new paint on shiny. I'm just gonna go real light. Check in the nicks and crannies a little and around it. I 
And now it blends in a lot better with the older paint. Not as shiny. I a little spot here if you can ever see it, just kind of dulls it out. Just want to go over it kind of light. If you do too much, you might have to paint it over again. But well, that's kind of one way to blend it without. Uh, see, like now it doesn't look all shiny and it doesn't stand out as much. Uh, that's a little secret trick, I guess, or a trick. Uh, hanging the paint dulled down a little. I think it takes the shine out of it so it looks like the old paint.